Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 109, JavaScript Web Files. Web files are one of the core tables in Power Apps Portals. They can be used to store content like images and documents, but they can also be used to store other types of site resources like CSS and JavaScript. In this tip, I'm going to cover some of our best practices when it comes to using web files for JavaScript. First, if you're using an external library, like some sort of fancy jQuery widget to enhance your entity forms, instead of uploading that library to the web files, I recommend that whenever possible, include it via a CDN or content delivery network. This has multiple benefits. It doesn't use up storage and Dataverse, and if it's a common library, it means your portal will most likely load faster because the user may already have cached those files based on visits to other sites using the same CDNs. If it is a custom JavaScript file, Host it in your own CDN, like Azure, is also an option. However, we generally don't go down that route, as it can make ALM more complicated, as it means another service to consider. To add a JavaScript web file, you've got some options. First, you can use the legacy frontside editor to upload a child file. Or, you can create the web file via the portal management model-driven app. However, there is a good chance that you'll get an error when trying to attach the JavaScript file as a note to the web file row. This is because there is a list of blocked extensions that includes .js. You can just rename the file extension to something that isn't blocked. However, I don't like that approach because then the files do not appear in the portal code editor tool in the XRM toolbox. Instead, I prefer to change the settings by going to advanced settings, then administration, then system settings. On the General tab, you will see the list of blocked extensions. Remove .js, upload your file, and then put it back. Finally, when you need to make a change to your JavaScript, instead of deleting the note and uploading a new one, I prefer to edit the existing note using the Portal Code Editor tool. This ensures that the ID of the note row in Dataverse isn't changed, and you get better version history in Source Control. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portal's tip number 109 on JavaScript web files useful.